All right, folks. Uh, one dude asked uh, about it on YouTube, but this is the result of the graphene on uh, or in carbon fiber laminate. Uh, this is an epoxy two-part resin that you mix together, and then you and you know how to lay carbon fiber, or you can look it up. But you lay down one sheet, and then you put the the uh, stuff on there, the the resin. And then you put another sheet down and then you squeeze that through with another layer of resin and, and you keep pressing it down to make it as thin as possible. And that, that process is called the wetting out process um, because you're wetting out the cloth or whatever. So it is what it is. But what I found was that the regular resin uh, does not wet out nearly as easy as the, the graphene uh, with the resin. Um, and this becomes pretty clear because you can see that, like, you know, that typical woven thing in the middle. See, these will be made into, like, a little quarter-inch dog bone. It'll be quarter-inch wide, and it'll be about, uh, two and a half inches long. Uh, and then we'll do some structural testing and seeing how, how long it takes to, for them to break. But, you know, you, you don't have, these edges don't matter. It's, it's what's right here that matters. Same thing here, same thing. And if you notice that the... This this looks smooth already. Why? Because it wetted out and and made a layer over it uh, much easier. You know, I pressed both of them so that you know they they both used about the same amount of resin. Uh, well, actually, this one used a little less, ironically. But uh, and then this kind of squished out a little bit, so it is what it is. But uh, it wets out easier. You can put less resin and wet out the carbon fiber, and bam, it's already it's it's ready to go. And that's a key to making better, you know, laminates. But they ended up still being roughly the same thickness. Um, but uh, this is what's left over is the resin casted, and it's like a hard plastic, almost yeah, it's like ABS, you know, uh, but more. It's a little bit more flexible and more more gummy uh, of course these have been uh, these are fully cured these are four hours and this might take a little longer because it's a solid mass to cure it that's just how it works uh, might put it in the microwave for, or an oven and heat it up and that can cause it to cure that was one of the other things is when you put a resin together they heat up it's a thermal set plastic basically and this was not nearly as hot as this and by not nearly as hot, what I mean is like when I press these two, okay, you could feel how warm this is, but this really transferred the heat out a whole lot all at once, um, which is typical from the graphene is, you know, being thermally conductive uh, in a way that it is. So it's really neat. I mean, these are just, they look crude, but when I cut them up and make them, you know, I'm going to take them in and uh, have a machinist cut them. Uh, exactly right and they'll be good dog bones they won't just be these you know you're gonna get a little piece out of here you know there's a whole lot of waste on these but I didn't I knew that I would have to do that so that I could get the dog bones to be right because um, I'm not sitting there casting and drop casting a mold or anything like that I just wanted to do a preliminary study and that's where this came from is you know you, you set it aside it's not very thick but uh, this is the the graphene with the carbon fiber is noticeably uh, stiffer. That was one of the things. Um, you, you instantly you can you can actually feel it. You can you can put it in your hand and push in the middle, and and it has it's it's tough, like you know, like what you would expect a car hood or something like that. While the regular resin is, uh, you can feel that there's just a little bit of give and a lot more give actually. Than, than I expected. I, I didn't expect it to be as flexible. But at the same time, it's only six layers of laminate, so it is what it is. But this is very, very, very strong. This is this is stronger. This feels like it's stronger than like ABS plastic or something like that. Or even, it's, I don't think it's nearly as strong as say that ABS that I made with the, uh, um, with the graphene and I used the wrench on it to snap it but it's still very very tough uh, I'll say that um, pretty neat anyway there you go and uh, have a good day